John Carney's here. Let's go right to a three shot because I, I want a three shot TV talk. Um, there's John Carney, <laughs> former Charger kicker. I mean, legendary career, Hall of Fame caliber career in the NFL. And John, thanks first of all for being here. Yeah, it's great John to be Amber, with you. Good to be here. Um, the video that we're about to watch together is something that, I, and I'm just thankful that you're willing to bring it to us and let people see it because you know a few hundred people saw it last year at your dinner with a pros event, right? <laughs> And then a few hundred people saw it this year. And when I saw it, John, I promise you, the junior thing became a reality for me. It, I, I don't know, how, has it, has it hit home for you with, we're a year tomorrow? Has it really hit home? No, it hasn't. And uh, actually, I hadn't, I hadn't seen the video myself uh, in recently until we showed it that evening at Dinner with the Pros 2013. And um, I, like you, struggled because to me, human, uh, Junior was a, a human, a friend, um, and a, you know, a guy that I was not only a teammate, but knew him for 23 years plus. And it's not the, the football icon that most of the public sees, but a good friend. And so um, it's, it's tough to think about it and still hard, di hard to digest. And, and I know you and your wife, Holly, tried to I'm going to just put this in quotes, Council Junior. You guys are a, a very a solid family unit, religious family, right? And you tried at some point to, to, but Junior had you convinced too that everything was right, as I recall. Yeah, uh, you know, we had him over for dinner after the, um, the, the accident, the car accident off, off the cliff in Carlsbad. And, um, you know, he assured us that, you know, he fell asleep at the wheel, it was a long night, um, and that he was good. And in cor over the course of the next year, seeing him and hanging out with him never had an indication that what happened at the end was an option for him. Amazing, absolutely amazing. By the way, just uh, just real quick before we get to this video, we're being told that there's been an arrest in Boston. Three people arrested with possible connections to the Boston bombing. I mean, this is news that is happening it's as breaking. we speak. We will give you more of this breaking news story in just a matter of moments. Uh, these are additional suspects. We've not heard of these folks before. This is all brand new stuff, and this is coming from the Boston Police Department. So we'll have that coming up. But back to this junior story. Let's just go right to the video. Let, let's do that. Let, let's roll it in, guys. I, I want you to just, just play it. Go ahead. Our house, um, having dinner. That's at one of our charity events. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Coin, coin flip. Wow. <laughs> there he is down in Miami. Dave wants that. Meeting the Prez. What was he doing there? Do you remember? Uh, talking about uh, American Samoa, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's you Doc had Brooks, yeah. our equipment manager, another charity event. Uh, I mean, look at him. He's in the center of it all. He's, he's the center of attention, know. you know? How about that? Shooting the cannon at one of our golf tournaments. John, that's when you had hair, buddy. That is, that's uh, all our children together with the Dimery kids as well. Uh, that's my 40th birthday party that he helped. Uh, plan with my wife. There's a good story about that. Um, another coin flip at Jack Murphy. Old school. I have my eyes closed. I'm probably, probably praying. That's one of our first golf tournaments at Aviara. Another coin flip. Look at Burt Grossman. Burt Grossman. <laughs> what is he doing? Pitt grad. Yeah. Uh, and, and the woman in the middle, she was a reporter, uh, also a USC grad that also lost the bet. So, so, so. you're a Notre Damer. Junior was a USC guy, major rivalry, and he lost the bet to you, I'm guessing over a Notre Dame-USC game, Yes. and he had to wear the Notre Dame gear. He did. He did. That, that was Love a pretty it. good one. Uh, the best was when he had to dye his hair blonde uh, <laughs> due to oh, a I loss. Oh, I bet that looked good. And that looked fantastic, a Samoan blonde man. <laughs> and uh, the I... following day, we actually played Seattle, and we won with a field goal. And so it was really funny because in his interviews, they were saying, are you mad at John Carney for losing the bet and dyeing your hair blonde? And he was like, no, we won the game on his foot, so all's good. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> at the end, always competitor. Um, I have to ask you, you were saying after the car accident, uh, after the car wreck, you would ask him and, and you were pretty sure that everything was fine. Was he just this really good actor? Because it's obvious that he was hurting inside, but it seems like nobody really saw any signs. Uh, they didn't from from the the friends and folks that um, that I've spoken with and, and from what I've heard in the news, uh, 
there were no major indications that he was leaning in that direction. Although, another Notre Damer, Aaron Taylor, was here earlier this week, and he told us that Junior called him and said, hey, you're the only guy I know that, that would know how to handle this because Aaron had his own battles after he finished mm -hmm. football, and, and he took Junior with him to a 12-step program. So somebody knew, which it's hard to believe now, I mean, almost a year later. I mean, it's just, you know, John, for me, I'll never forget, you and me, this is back in the early 90s, um, you and I were having dinner one night at a Chinese restaurant in Mission Valley. It's just the two of us sitting there talking. And Junior walked in. Uh, we said, hey, June, what's going on? He went up. He picked up his takeout. He left. And when you and I went to pay the bill, he'd already paid it. Aww. Yes, he was a dog That's like that. Uh, he did that a number of times. Actually, Sid Brooks was in one of those pictures, our equipment manager, a long time at San Diego Chargers. And... Uh, we were out to dinner with Sid Brooks and Monsignor Dan Delabo from USD, uh, the Charger uh, chaplain, and uh, he did the same thing. Came through the restaurant, quick wave, and bought the dinner for us. So, oh, nice. one of his sneaky little tricks. Yeah, but I mean, that's just hey, the, I mean, just right doesn't that tell you I mean, what you need to know about this guy? Now, what do you, yeah. you, you've got, I see your Notre Dame gear. I don't know if you're wearing that for Manti Teo today. I do, I am. <laughs> Go you're, you're, Irish. Yeah, you okay, but yep. okay. Because we're talking about my good friend Junior. I wanted to give him a little love oh. and uh, represent there the Trojans. Go. There you go. Look at that. Wow. What do you, you got any plans for tomorrow, the one year? Well, I'm sure my wife and I will reminisce a lot. And, uh, you know, it's been our focus to to focus and, and to concentrate on the great times we had with him, the blessings we had with him, uh, his friendship, um, a lot of laughs together, yeah. and really an amazing guy. I don't think I'll ever meet another guy like Junior Seau. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah, for sharing you 